Matt Barber and Matt Staver are religious fundamentalists and conservatives, and they host the Faith and Freedom radio broadcast. Uh, this might be my favorite segment of the day. Guys, take it away. But under this Obama administration, there is an overt systemic effort to engage in, in what I call religious cleansing. And that's basically what is the secularization of the United States military. Uh, and and it, it started basically a, a, around the time of the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. So we see that now, now that the military has been homosexualized, it started with that. They have to necessarily get rid of those who embrace a Christian worldview because the Christian worldview holds that biblical sexual morality is only appropriate within the bonds of marriage between a man and a woman. That's what scripture says. So Christianity and the homosexual agenda are completely in, incompatible and now the homosexual agenda has taken over the United States military. So those who are Christian in the military are finding it uh, a very hostile environment. Yeah, man, you nailed it. Christians are getting purged from the United States military and gays have taken over. Yeah, you know, uh, I just the other day, I, I heard that uh, Elton John became an American citizen and he is now a brigadier general. Neil Patrick Harris is a colonel. Uh, insert other funny gay person joke here. I mean, obviously that's not true. What are you talking about? Christians are being purged. Christians are being purged. We're talking about the United States of America, dude. You know what? Let me give you some numbers. Uh, what percentage of the American population is Christian? Take a guess real quick before I tell you. Just, give, you know, take a shot in the dark, whatever, if you don't know the number. About 76% of the American uh, public is Christian. 76%. That's an overwhelming majority. Now, thankfully, we have uh, founding fathers who set up the nation as secular, right? We are the only, we are the first nation that was founded on enlightenment principles that separated church and state. I mean, that's the whole point of the Establishment Clause. We, the government has to remain neutral on issues of religion. So those guys can't take over and they can't, you know, shove their religion down our throats. But 76% uh, of the population is Christian. Overwhelming majority. But uh, let's get more specific. What percentage of the military is Christian? Now, remember, his claim is, well, I mean, come on. I, the Christians are being purged. It's obvious. I mean, Obama, hello, anti-Christian, even though he is Christian. Anti-Christian, he's purging the, the military, hello. Okay, so what's it down to? 17% uh, of the military is Christian, 6%. I mean, he's purging, right? 0%, did he succeed already? 88%. <laughs> How's that Christian purge going? How's it going? 88% are Christian. Yeah, a very successful purge that Obama did. Uh, and uh, overall, I got, I saved the best statistic for last. Because he's saying Christians are, you know, gone... Uh, gays taking over the military. <laughs> Again, I can't get that picture out of my mind. Like, there's, they're on the front lines wearing assless chaps and you know, really muscular guys like in the, uh, the gay pride parade, right? And they have the, the rainbow flag <laughs> holding an M16. And they're like, you know, we could fight or we could just be fabulous. And look, I'm being slightly unfair because, of course, not all gay people are effeminate. There's plenty that aren't effeminate, right? But it's just, it's funny. It's, 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 a, it's a funny thought, and they're so convinced that the military is gay. Well, I actually have the number here. What percentage of the military is gay? 2.2%. <laughs> I love these guys, man. I love these Christian radio hosts, these far right wingers. Look, of everything in the world to be concerned about and to do, I mean, you have a fucking show. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about, right? Of all the things to talk about, I mean, these guys are supposedly followers of Jesus. So are they talking about uh, poverty? No, they're not. Are, are they talking about, you know, the fact that medical bills is the number one cause of bankruptcy? No, they're not. Are they talking about the 900 military bases around the world that are U.S. military bases and we are imperialistic, right? We spent seven trillion in Iraq when all is said by, and done by 2053. Would Jesus be in favor of rampant militarism? Of course he wouldn't. But are they talking about that? No, they're not. 
Are they talking about any of the actual issues that Jesus really cared about and the issues of the Bible? Not at all. But what are they afraid of? Gays in the military.